All right, so I want to try something with my 10 gallon tank in my bathroom. I want to try and set up a hydroponic system or aquaponic system and see if I know what I'm doing. I'm going to actually make, of course, I'm going to make this video though because I want to ask if I'm doing anything, doing everything properly. Now what I'm actually going to be doing in this video is going to be making a mock, is going to be making a mock up of how I uh, think the thing's supposed to work. From what I've been able to gather offline through eBay, through YouTube and whatnot. But since the videos out there are kind of meh, I'm going to make this video hopefully figure out that hopefully someone can tell me if I'm doing anything properly. <clears throat> and if I can get the uh, if I get the hydroponic system working on this 10 gallon tank here, I'm going to be doing it at least on my tw I'm going to be doing it at least on my 29 out in my living room, which is my angelfish tank. And my flower horn tank, which is, which is a twenty long, but I want to get a test. But I want to see if I know what I'm doing first on this tank. So I'll come back when I figure when I set when I do the, when I get the uh, mock up up made. All right, so this part is not going to be that really professional, but then again, most of my videos really aren't. So I've made a mock up of the aquaponic system or hydroponic system that I'm thinking of making. Again, this is the first time I've built something like this, so I want to have a mock-up. And also, I want to get pointers for, from people that have actually done this in the past to let me know if I'm doing this properly or what changes I should do and whatnot. So, basically, here's how the thing's set up. This area right here, or this tube right here, will be actually be a little bit more smaller than this, of course. This is where the pump and the tube will go into. And, of course, then right here, the tube goes out to... Probably, let's see, how can I properly do this? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> okay, so here's the height of that, and here's the height of the tube. All right. So this right here is the height of the box itself, from the bottom of the, from the bottom of the box to the very top. Right here is the height of the uh, input uh, of the input tube, which is this tube right here. And of course, here's what I'm thinking: is that is that of course water gets pumped into here. I'm going to have some type of uh, some type of uh, grating grate system or something to, to make this little area blocked off. And I can probably have some type. I can probably have carbon in here if I wanted. Mostly filter, mostly mostly just filter fiber and whatnot. To help with the help of filtration have, and have this little area blocked off. And then right here will be whatever uh, whatever uh, grow media I want to use. I'll probably use some type of rock media and just put some poppice plants in here or whatever else I think would really get rid of nitrates. I know for a fact poppice plants will do the job just fine, so most likely poppice plants. And of course I will have media guards on both the uh, input and the in the uh, output hole of uh, the uh, the output and whatnot. And of course, here's the actual output uh, tube that goes directly into the tank. It might, I may actually, I'm going to make this tube most likely a little, little bit more longer, but I just want to make it short to give a general idea. And let's see. <clears throat> okay, I need to get rid of these or something. And of course, right here is the top of the uh, is the top of the box. And of course, right here is the, where the output tube actually get, uh, maxes out at. So the so the input is a lot more taller, and the uh, output's a lot more shorter, like it should be. Granted, like I said, I'm taking all this off of a, off a few channels I've been able that I've been watching because those videos are ungodly old. And not really easy for me to understand what's going on. So, like I said, that's why I built this mock-up here. Now, of course, this is most likely not going to be the exact... Now, of course, this most likely won't be the flower bed size I'll be using. But if I can find a flower bed or a little plastic bed thingy that's around this size, it'll be perfect. Because then I'll just be able to re-replicate all this if this, is, if this is correct onto the onto my final product. 
that I'm planning on building for my uh, goldfish tank. And of course, and of course, of this, I, of course, of this uh, system here works. I'm like I'm thinking it will. I'm gonna end up using this on, like I said, my 20 long and my uh, 29 gallon and angel tank, because then I'll just be able to just have better filtration and whatnot. So if, let me know if this is more or less of how I have more or less how I should do this and whatnot. And of course, I'm probably going to actually have this area closed off like so, but I'm not sure yet. I just put this here for uh, to see what it'll look like, and I actually kind of like it like this. But yeah, this is, like I said, this is my mock-up. I want to get people's opinion, let me know if I'm doing this properly. If not, just let me know what I need to do to make it a little more proper and whatnot.